Hi, Aquarius. This is your weekly reading for January. Oh, I think it's your birthday. January 22nd through the 29th. Happy birthday to all the early Aquarians. Um, what's your plan? That's what I keep on getting. It's like, what's your plan? Oh, the microphone is showing. I don't like that. Okay. What's your plan? What's your plan? You have a plan? Make a plan. <laughs> sometimes I get like a mini message, you know, sometimes it's sort of like a question, like that's a mini message. What's the plan? And you're good at planning. You're very good at planning. So it's not like, you know, challenging to you. It's like you're in your element. What's your plan? How are you going to move forward? What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to obtain? What do you want to change? It's a very funny thing because earlier in the year, in November, I was like, oh, the year has begun or just somewhere around there. And now, and then now it feels like we've been in limbo and now it feels like, okay, what's your plan? Like, I feel like the year is really just beginning. Okay. You know, <laughs> interesting. So it's just race, right? Making a plan. So, um, creativity but i you know okay so this can be a card it, it, it's three it's, so it's creative uh creative with money community uh this could be a real estate card right this could be a real estate building a house uh, buying a house mm, getting rid of a house or an apartment but i always feel like not always but lately because my my message my interpretation of the cards changes constantly but i feel like there's always this is something subconscious there's something subconscious that's brewing like way in the back of your head and it's like well i wonder if you know i'm thinking about like that okay then i have the magician ah oh, the empowered one so the magicians are fascinating card is a one is a beginning leader um really has the understanding and the, the knowledge that he has everything he needs. He has all the tools at his disposal in order to manifest what it is that he wants. And he's in touch with the eternity of his soul. And he's in touch with the eternity of the Godhead and how his soul is part of the Godhead. And Godhead is part of the soul. And he, he really gets that. Or she, whatever. Magic. And then I have the seven. And the seven, the seven can go a lot of ways. So, you know, so seven is confidence, confidence in one's passion. Like if I just break it down to like its essence, it's confidence in one's passion, confidence in one's instinct. But there's this, also this energy of um, being defensive, but it's almost like it's unnecessary uh, defensiveness because you have the high ground. It's like, so maybe... You know, because Aquarians can really march their own drum in a lot of ways, like much, uh, a lot more than a lot of other sides. And um, it's sort of like, you don't have to be defensive. It's your idea. It came to you. Uh, you know, maybe it's still brewing, but uh, it's like, there's no need to really be defensive because just have confidence. I always feel like, you know, if ideas come, or, you know, inspiration comes. It didn't come to you for no reason. It's not like, you know, the uh, the delivery guy um, can't read. You're at 123 Main Street. Like, and there's not even another place on the street. It's like, you can't really make a mistake. It, it came to you for a reason. Not like, well, I don't know. I'm like, yeah, the end of the way of thinking, a new dawn is rising. Like I've let go of my old way of thinking. And maybe, you know, maybe the old way of thinking that you've let go of is not having confidence in the things that you think you can manifest. Like, well, I really want to manifest this. I really want to manifest having a house, let's say. Oh, well, you know, I can't afford it. And, you know, it's like, if you really want that house, just for an example, then there'll be a way to obtain it. Might not be exactly the house you want, exactly the neighborhood you want, but you know, 
it's like it's a house that, that if the house is the thing that you want, then you'll obtain a house because you have everything you need. Because, you know, the world and the universe works in really weird and mysterious ways. Nine. Um, nine is this understanding of a, a nine period, any nine, is um, um, obtaining, right? Accumulate. It obtains. So the nine, because it's like the one before the 10, the 10 is completion. The nine of wands is a really interesting card. There's a lot of interpretations for it. But at the end of the day, it's really obtaining your passion. And, you know, you might feel a little defensive. You might have to put up boundaries, but it's like you obtained it. It's almost, you know what it feels like? It feels like, you know, you know what it is you want and you've sort of, in a way, in your head, painted yourself into a corner. And, you know, you're feeling really defensive about it. And it's like, if you come at it with that attitude, then, you you know, you're going to, like, you know, you want a house, let's say, for you and two other people. I don't know. And then, you know, you're like, well, it has to be, do, 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 do. And it's like, don't, it's like, allow it to be bigger. Allow it to like, well, maybe, you know, like uh, allow that, allow uh, it to reveal itself. Like that's the way I'm feeling about it. Yeah. And as you start working on it, you know, and as you start putting action toward it, whatever that is, um, that's where you're going to get the information. That's where you're going to get the information. So, uh, so for instance, you know, I've been working on the back end of my website, right? And I want you to do this and I want you to do that. Like I, I added a calendar a couple of weeks ago, which is great. Because now if somebody has a tarot reading, they can just like say, okay, two o'clock my time, you know, and it's yours. Great. And as I was doing that, I saw all these other apps. And it was like, had I not gotten into the work of trying to get the calendar together, um, then I never would have seen this other stuff that was really, they was, these were really good free apps that I got to utilize. And I think it really enhanced my website. I mean, <laughs> go to my website with like this, like, oh, I'm excited to go and not, don't look for what's wrong. There's plenty wrong. I mean, there's plenty that has to be fixed. But it's like, as you take the action toward, the universe backs you up, right? And offers opportunities. So that's the beginning of the reading. Now, if you'd like to see the extended reading, it's $4.99 a month. Uh, please join and have a lovely week and happy birthday.